Frame 12 months forward, nominal GDP and real GDP. I think our market economist crew would like to know what you think on that. Where is nominal 12 months out year over year and also inflation adjusted? Tom, I think we're going to tumble pretty hard uh, moving into mid-year and in, in late 2023. So if we look at some of the leading barometers of nominal spending, I mentioned before that we have a contraction in the banking system. So in just two weeks, we saw commercial bank credit collapse by more than $300 billion. Commercial bank deposits are down almost a trillion over the course of just over a year. Uh, and you've got the Fed that has its policy rate above every note and bond yield across the Treasury yield curve. So that is not a configuration that should lead us into thinking that there's going to be some kind of perfect soft landing right. or no landing scenario. I think the landing could be quite a bit harder than many are discussing. And in that context, you could have nominal GDP fall to zero, even below zero temporarily. And that is a recession scenario. Right. It won't be a permanent state of affairs. Eventually, the you know the Fed will have to adjust. But I'm afraid they're being dragged al along by lagging indicators of the business cycle. You know, service sector inflation is in the index of lagging economic indicators. Payroll growth, it's critical, but it's a coincident indicator. The forward-looking data is pointing is pointing <clears throat> down at the moment, and we just got the NFIB data for March. If you look at the underlying index on small business credit conditions, availability of loans, we're at levels now that you do not see outside of recessions. How big a mistake is a rate rise May 3rd? I mean, I'm not going to fault the Fed if they're data dependent and they got to wait for obvious data that, you know, they're not in the game you're in, Michael. But is it a mistake to see a May 3rd rate increase? I think it is, Tom, and I think the last hike was also an error on the part of the Fed. And data dependency is fine as long as you're not dependent on the wrong data. But if you're looking in the rearview mirror, then you're going to be igniting boom and bust cycles. And I'm afraid we're moving into the bust part of the cycle. So the March data has been much softer than what we were seeing in January and in parts of, of February. And so that's telling us that the economy is slowing down. Uh, in the background, we do have this banking crisis that's ongoing with a contraction in money and credit. So to have the Fed adding on now, continuing to push short-term interest rates up and to push the curve into deeper inversion, I think sets us up for a, a potentially deeper downturn right. than would otherwise be the case.